So today we have another interview that Mafia City recently posted on their Facebook page. This is from a player named Hoyt Capone of City 1279. And this is the third Mafia interview. So let's get right into it. So their favorite contest number one is the season event and the favorite contest number two is Las Vegas. How do you like the season? I enjoy the season event very much. I find that the regular city is a little bit boring, but during the season, I can talk to people outside my city and have more to do. All season events are exciting and it's great that we can choose the theme for our city. However, among all the themes, my favorite one is the Seven Seas. Yeah, I think I agree too. Uh, I like the season event as well, but the only reason I like the season event is because the rewards are really, really, really good. And my favorite theme for the season event would be Frontier Fortunes, which is Gold Rush. Okay, uh, I believe that there is something more that you can do to optimize our experience in the season event. For example, I think some phases in the season event can be further shortened since it's kind of boring to wait till the gates, gate opens. Also, if you can hold the Vegas event in between the season events, I think it would make it easier to manage our troops rather than having to struggle to manage our crew for two events at the same time. Yeah, I think a lot of people think this. A lot of people uh, think that the season event is really long. So yeah, maybe they should uh, shorten the season event. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below. Also about the Vegas thing, I don't really know how much of a problem that is. I don't really fight in Vegas that much. But I could see it being a problem, especially when there are battles going on on both maps at the same time. It's going to be really difficult to focus on both battles at the same time. Have you had any bad experiences recently? When I was participating in the season, I sometimes met some problems with lag due to all the players in the same area, especially in the season event Tower and Eye of the Storm. I hope this can be improved in the, in the upcoming season events. So yes, this is another problem that a lot of players face. A lot of players complain about the game being really laggy and they definitely need to fix it. But this has been an issue for a very long time now and they still haven't fixed it. So I don't really know if they're going to do anything to fix it anytime soon. Any more suggestions concerning the events? I think you should add more ways to get morphine shots. For example, allow us to exchange with other resources or earn from certain in-game events. The personal pick packs and the winter spring fest packs are good, but they don't provide enough morphine shots. You can also consider adding something like a morphine gathering site so that people can obtain more morphine daily. So yeah, this I think is a big spender problem. Uh, obviously, I don't really buy morphine, so I don't care that much about morphine shots. Uh, but yes, uh, I've heard from a lot of big spenders that morphine is really expensive to get and it's really difficult to get. Uh, so hopefully they'll add more ways of getting morphine in the game in the future. However, I really don't think they're going to add this morphine gathering site. And maybe if they do, they're probably going to do something crazy like it'll take six hours for you to get one morphine. So you send your troops out to gather for six hours and you'll only get one morphine uh, because I'm sure they don't want to give away morphine for free. So yeah, they're going to make it very unattractive for people to gather morphine if they do add this feature. Okay, what else do you hope to see in the game? It's better to have more customized training or teaching services for players to know how to make their account stronger. Not just a simple graphic guide, but maybe a video or even more targeted guides. I know that many of us, I know that for many of us, our accounts can do better in fights, but we just can't fully understand all aspects of the game since there are so many things that need to be taken into consideration. So the reason why they're never going to do this is, I've already said it in a previous video, but I think it's because they just make way more money by not doing this. So for example, if they come out tomorrow and tell everyone the names of the three strongest renegades in the game, 
what's going to happen is everyone's going to buy only these three renegades and they're going to ignore all the other renegades because they know that they're not the strongest. And so this way they're going to make less money because people will only invest in like three renegades. However, when they keep things really vague, people are forced to invest in every single renegade so that they can test them out and see for themselves whether those renegades are good or bad. So I don't think they're ever going to give really detailed guides about things in the game. They're always going to keep their guides very vague. Also, there was one more thing that Hoyt Capone wanted me to tell you guys. So I spoke to him before making this video and he told me that this interview was a 30 minute video call and they condensed it all into this short text interview so they missed a few points and this is one of the points that he wanted me to include in this video that they missed in the interview. So he made a suggestion to get rid of migration and add an airport feature. So basically you open this building and you can select whichever city you want to migrate to. It shows you how many tickets you need to migrate to that city and if you have the tickets you can migrate instantaneously. So that's the idea of this feature. Now at first it sounds like a really good feature because who wouldn't want instantaneous migration? However, if you think about it a little more, I think it's really difficult to implement this feature into the game and that's mainly because of the season event. Now in my opinion, the season event was designed to be a city event. That is, the event is meant to be done with your entire city. However, if they add this feature, then what this will do is it'll allow players to leave their city before the season event even ends. So this would mean that your team would change almost every single day because you would have a few players that join and leave your city almost every single day. Also, let's say that there are two really big clans in your city and for some reason they have a dispute during the season event. Now, if one clan decides to leave the city because of this dispute, the performance of the entire city is going to be affected because of this decision. The city will now be getting points at half the earlier rate, making its performance extremely unstable. Also, players that didn't rank in the top 5 in big cities would move to smaller cities just to get free packs because it's much easier to get packs in those cities and then once they get those packs they come back to their original city. Also another issue that would arise is you wouldn't be able to have peaceful cities anymore. Cities that have no kill event or cities that only kill during the kill event would not be able to stay peaceful outside of kill event because with this feature there would always be a threat of rogues migrating to your city and destroying the entire city. So you would have to stay shielded 24-7 if this feature is added to the game. So that's pretty much all there was to the interview. Also, he wanted me to add this picture and this message at the end of the video. So that's pretty much all I had for you guys in this video. Let me know your thoughts about this interview in the comments down below. Before I end this video, I'd like to thank all of my patrons for the support. To support me, you can find my Patreon link in the description below. Thanks for watching the video guys, and I will see y'all in the next one.